got your own style, that's just slang for you, ain't got it though Talking like you got it, that's a problem, I might let them know Feed you like I'm else and so I let, 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 let it go Today on number six with Cheese, we're headed down to the South Loop on South Michigan Avenue to go to Fontano's to get a eight inch meatball sub, in which I've seen the internet might call this the best meatball sub in the city. We'll see what it's like. Very excited to try it. Corey's going pepper jack. I'm going provolone for the cheeses. Customization, hot jardinera. You ready? Oh yeah, baby. It's my new thing I'm working on. Let us know if you like that. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Slack. Yeah, two meatball subs? Yeah. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, guys, two eight inch meatball subs from Fantano's in the south. Loop? I don't Is this the South Loop? I never know where the cutoff is. Acquire Jump Cut. Fontano. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, guys. Corey Wagner, second angle. Let's check out the sub. I always like when it's uh, putting masking tape. Yeah, dude. Wrapped delis. Up all deli style. It's, yeah, it was fantastic. Wrap this beast. Okay. Go. All right. We'll keep it hot until October. Yeah, dude. Then what happens? Then it's cold. Oh, that's always a bummer. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. <laughs> they call it Mean Girls Day. Right. Right when the leaves change. <laughs> okay, I think one more layer. <laughs> Holy smokes. And then uh, what is that, it's wax paper? Yeah, I think so. Wow, this thing is steaming. So. We've got the uh, bread, not sure what type it is, and you got all the meatballs up in there, and then you've got the jardineras on there, and then you got the cheese on there. This is too hot to touch. Yeah, I've let but that thing is, air out. This is my favorite part of the episode because I don't have to talk, and I don't yeah. sound stupid, but I know I'm good at filming B-roll. This will be a good test to see, like, is this bread really going to hold this thing up? Because this is sloppy. Yeah, it's already pretty mushy in places, but it's firm in others, so... <laughs> We shall see. All right, guys. Fantano's Subs, South Michigan Avenue. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, oh, that's very good. That meatball is full of flavor. Mm hmm The addition of the uh, jardinero. Yep. Good move. Uh-huh. Good move, dudes. Mm hmm It looked like they sell it in jars in there. Mmm. Get a big old jar of it. This is great bread for this. It's really good. Holds up well. I think my personal reigning champ in Chicago for meatball subs up until today was Nona's, mm. which we did on the West Loop, which was really good. I think the bread was very hard. This is probably the best meatball sub I've ever had. Mm -hmm. No doubt, difficult to eat, mm -hmm. but worth it. Worth the work. Sometimes you gotta work for it, you know? Crispy outer shell, but then the inner part of the bread kind of melts within the sandwich. It all is pieced together very impressively. It's an artist's work. That's a good meatball. <laughs> so I think this is more normal your speed, right? Mm-hmm. This is so good. You don't like that uh the sharp bread. Yeah, cut your mouth up. Mm-hmm. This is the Italian sandwich from Bari. Cheers. Cheers. Bro, I don't know how anybody likes Italian sandwiches. I was just like biting into a loaf of bread that at one point had meat near it. <laughs> I love it. Dude, this is so good. I love when meatballs are like just an absolute upscale style meatball. Like it's so tender. It's like a little bit crunchy on the outside, nice and fluffy on the inside. And this bread is keeping this sloppy sandwich together. You know? Mm -hmm. I also remember when we did Rico Benes. That oh, yeah. bread did a really good job of holding that just monstrosity of sauce. Yeah, Rico Benes is one of my favorite sandwiches in the city for sure. I'd love to go back down there and try something else off that menu. Yeah, but it's all amazing. That's one of the most requested local reviews that people don't realize that we've done. I feel like I'm always linking that really? video to people. Yeah, like constantly. I have this weird guilt where I'm like, no, we did that. I know you don't think we did, but we did. The spices on this are really good too. Like coming from that pickled jardinera, I just really like the way this tastes. Dude, I I never thought about this before. That stuff is built for uh, meatball subs. That's much more of a meatball sub topping than Italian beef, dude. Mm -hmm. Italian beef is kind of whack in my opinion. This is way better than Italian beef. This is beef. way better. Yeah. 
This should be Chicago sandwich. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna even get into this. Knowing how good you are in the kitchen, I feel like you could whip up a really awesome meatball sub. Like, oh, uh, we get you some jardinera from like a, one of these awesome delis and just have you make this for I'd an episode. It. We could do that, we could do a kitchen episode and have you make meatball subs. I would. I love I'd, making homemade meatballs. I'd show up for that. Come on, get up in there, meatball. These are huge. They're massive. If you guys are eating challenge people, Randy Santel, like three years ago, ate a 36 inch sub. It's a part of their challenge. And man, he smashed it, dude. This is amazing, and I'm like, no offense to Fontana's, but eating this kind of reminds me of like, Subway's meatball sub is really good. That meatball sub is so hard to F up. I know. That it's like, the difference between, like, I, this is better. Yeah. Jardinera, blah, 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 this is better, but not by as much as I thought it would be. I thought this would crush the Subway, and then I'm like, well, this is actually, Subway's actually really good. Yeah, I haven't had it in a while. It's we, like all I get if I go there, right. which I rarely go there, but. I know we've talked about that before. I feel like Subway's meatball sub is like, it's like their flagship sandwich. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the first thing I ever got when I went there. And Happy Gilmore loved it. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, I hate that Bob Barker. Man, this is one of those sandwiches, like, I want to eat the whole thing, but I'm just going to be in pain. It's so much food. Yeah, Did we're you? filming a podcast later, and I'm already thinking about how tired I'm going to be from this food coma, because yeah. of how much I just ate. Mm -hmm. Fontana's, though. Killed it. I'm going to do, maybe I'll just do this meatball. <laughs> You're not microwaving this sandwich. Mm -mm. You're, that would ruin it. Gosh darn. I've done a lot of meatballs on this show, now that I'm thinking about it. Also, just like, just meatball dishes. Gosh darn. The sauce is also so flavorful. Like, mm. whatever their little secret sauce is, they're doing it right. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, before we go ahead and rate that eight inch meatball sub, let's do a shout out. Podcast shout out, podcast shout out, podcast shout out. Yeah, we got a podcast, you know? Every Monday, brand new episode alongside comedian Zach Orion. We've been interviewing guests during quarantine, creators, musicians, actors, all kinds of dope people. Yeah, true. So if you want to see us chat it up with some creatives around the city, around the world, go ahead, check it out. All the links are below. The Unemployables pod. Super appreciative of the people that have supported that podcast. Thank you so much. All right, Corey. Let's go ahead and rate this bad boy before we sweat it out. Out of five dripping emojis, how many dripping emojis do you give the eight inch meatball sub their, their staple sandwich? It even says it on the website. What do you give it out of five? Man, I thought that was so good. Everything about it. The meatballs were delicious. The bread was perfect in my opinion. That's the style of bread I want with my meatball subs. Mm. Uh, did have a little bit of kick. The idea of adding jardinera to meatball subs is so brilliant. Yeah. And I can't believe I haven't like thought of that. It hasn't even crossed my mind before. That is absolutely the move. That's definitely one of the best meatball subs in my life. Like I said, meatball subs are difficult. It's kind of like pizza. It's hard to screw that up mm -hmm. if you're doing it right. Um, but they really, they really nailed it. I'm gonna give that a 4.85. Wow! Damn near a five. Great score. Uh, the flavor of the sauce. The meatballs were tender. The bread held it all together. That was my biggest uh-oh, is picking that up and not knowing when it's ready yep. and like getting it. If that bread starts, <laughs> we all remember the bad mother clucka incident oh, of boy. June 2020. Disintegrating vehicles, you know? Whew, this thing is not holding up well at all. Whew, bad mother clucka, hot chick. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, the bread is so gross, and the chicken is so good. That bread stayed so perfect. Um, I, the whole time I was like, I think I really, I like Nona's a lot, I'd love to have them side by side. I'm gonna go 4.75. Wow. That's that is, that's a must get if you're down here, if you're a meatball sub person. Also, when we went to Rico Benes, I remember we were also sweating our balls off. Yeah. July is hot. It is steamy. I'm sweating, my taste buds is firing on all. I rolled the window down. Cylinders. What are we under? Are we under the highway? Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thursday video coming up tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know if you've ever had that sandwich. And we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.